Canacare is on a mission to change the public's perception about the people who smoke marijuana. And it's taking its crusade for patients' rights to the airwaves. I get muscle spasms so bad. I was hit by a truck driver. I'm 11 years and 8 survivor. I would... This bold, fully paid for TV commercial is the first of its kind in the entire country. The producer says these are real people who use cannabis to help deal with a variety of serious ailments. You never see a marijuana plant or hear a blatant reference to the drug. And the dispensary's director says that was done on purpose. I'm not looking at getting people high. I'm looking at getting people well. Lynette Davies got involved with medicinal marijuana five years ago. She became an advocate after the medications her teenage daughter took for a rare bone disease were too much for her to handle. I have been a patient of can here for five or six years now. Her daughter is the first person who appears in this ad. It was so awful that she dropped on the floor one day and she went into spasms on the floor and she begged me, she was 15 years old, and she begged me to let her die. She begged me to let her die. Davies is a conservative Christian and she wants to make her position clear. She does not support Proposition 19, which would legalize marijuana. She wants the state to have strict rules and regulations on the use of what she says God's nature has created. Not everyone is buying that religious sales pitch. Randy Thomason is with MarijuanaHarmsFamilies.com. What's next? Medical cocaine? Medical heroin? Thomason says a survey in San Diego found 98% of people who said they use pot for medicinal purposes just wanted to get stoned. And he says research has proven it's a gateway drug to cocaine and meth. He says no matter how you push it, marijuana is extremely harmful. And this ad is purely dangerous propaganda. This is going to harm people if they get used to it. And this ad, sadly, is mainstreaming pot. It's not good and it shouldn't be run. Our station is the first TV station to air it, and the interim general manager defends it. He says in part, under careful supervision of a physician, people have said they benefited from the appropriately prescribed dosage of medicinal marijuana. And he also says the Canicare ad is no different than this one. These things are for real. So is Excedrin migraine. And what we're trying to do is not, not, be, not have these patients be ashamed or be ridiculed or feel humiliated because they're already going through so much. We just want them to know that if this herb helps them, we're here to help you.